So for all y'all that are practicing semen retention, you're building up your streak. You're doing everything you need to do. You're striving to become a better man. And all of a sudden you get those urges in the night or in the morning. And you think about relapsing? Don't. Because I'm about to give you all four things that I personally lost, the benefit-wise, when I relapsed off of semen retention. Now I made a list here, and I'm just going to name all these things on the list. And I'm going to elaborate too. Now the number one thing, now these are not any particular order, I just I just named it and I'm going to read them off. So the number one thing that I lost on seam retention when I relapsed was eye contact. Now <clears throat> I noticed before when I was on my 22, 25 day streak, I would, ha I would hold very good eye contact with people, whether it was at work, whether it was in public, whether it was my friends, I always held very good eye contact. But when I relapse recently, I can't do that anymore. I can't. Usually, I would be the one to look at somebody, right? And they would be the first one to look away. But now, when I look at somebody, I'm the one to look away. So I, I really can't maintain good eye contact anymore when I relapse off of semen retention. That's one thing that I've noticed personally with myself. Now, the second thing, the second thing that I lost benefit-wise when it comes to relapsing on semen retention. The second thing is creativity and mental clarity. Now, I put these two into one because they kind of both deal with your mental um, creativity. I've, I, pff, yeah, I can't. <laughs> this, this, the reason why I can't, the reason why I lost my creativity is because I lost my mental clarity. And what mental clarity is, is basically having pure thoughts. You can think about anything and it's pure and you're not overthinking god damn i don't know why nobody's i don't know why people were texting me but um what was i saying mental clarity is like the ability to think of things without overthinking or the ability to have pure thoughts or the ability to just have a clear mind be clear-minded that's that's something that i lost on semen retention when i relapsed i started overthinking again i started getting social anxiety i started getting all these all these things started creeping back up um, but when I was on my 22 day streak, it was unheard of. This was never an issue. I never had any of these type of issues. Um, creative, I, I had a lot of creative ideas. You, these were things that I would write down on my phone. Cause you know how sometimes you get that thought and you're like, oh shit, I need to write that down. Cause I'm going to forget. That's exact. I got a lot of those moments when I was on my streak, but I don't really have those moments after relapsing. Um, the third thing that I lost when I relapsed on semen retention, female attraction. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I definitely noticed this one. And it's not even like, it's not even communicating with a female. It's just like having your presence being noticed. When you're... When you're jacking your dick every day, right? When you're letting go, when you're releasing, when you're letting go of all that energy, that life force energy, when you're letting go, you almost become like unnoticed in public. Like people don't notice you, people don't see your presence, people just look past you. You're like nothing. But when you're on semen retention, you, you get noticed a lot. People feel your presence. When you walk into a room and everybody looks at you, people, people notice you in their life. This was one thing that I've noticed. When I relapsed on semen retention, I would usually walk into work and have a couple people looking at me, but when I relapsed, like nobody was really looking at me. Nobody was really, nobody really, uh, how do you call it? Acknowledged my presence. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's not, <laughs> I'm not salty about it. It is what, it's my fault. I'm the reason why that happened, but that's def that's definitely one thing that I've noticed. Female attraction and even just even just attraction in general. Like you're you're really like unnoticed when you jack off every day. When you're on semen retention, people notice you. People feel your presence. Now the last thing that I lost on semen retention, benefit wise, when I relapsed, was my manifestations. When I was on my streak, right? And I can't say that I've had too many manifestation stories because I only went on the streak for like 22 days. 
that's not really enough time to really have your manifestations come true. But what I can say is this. They're definitely not coming true. They're, def they're definitely not coming true right now. Especially since I just relapsed as of recently. They're definitely not coming true now. So I think I'm putting myself on hold with my manifestations. And I'm doing it to myself. And that's just one thing that I've noticed when I re when I law when I relapsed on semen retention is my manifestations aren't coming true, but it's okay, it's all good. I'm not worried about it. They're gonna they're gonna come true. They will come true. They already have came true, but I just gotta give it more time. Gotta get, start building the streak back up, and then I'll be at that point again. But yeah, man, I just wanted to give y'all like a different perspective on semen retention because I know there's a lot of videos out there talking about. The things that you gain on semen retention, but I wanted to make a video specifically on the things that you lose on semen retention. So once again, if you're on semen retention, you're building up that streak, you're doing everything you got to do. Realize this, you're trading in confidence, mental clarity, female traction, testosterone, all these good things. You're trading all this in for... The cons, which I just named the cons. You're trading all that in for that. So next time you think about relapse and next time you're sitting in bed, next time you get those urges, really think about what you're trading in all your benefits in for. You're going right back to your root chakra. You're going right back to zero. And it's not worth it. I'm telling you. <laughs> I like When I look at these things that I lost, it, fr it frustrates me, but it doesn't really... It doesn't really frustrate me to the point where like, damn, like I'm beating myself up. It, it frustrates me because like I could still have these things as we speak. I could still feel all these things if I just never would have relapsed. And it's not worth it. And that's one of the, that's the point that I wanted to get across with this video. It's, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. So with all that being said, if you're on seeing retention, keep going. Keep going. Don't let nobody throw you off path. Don't let nobody... Um, try to tell you to, bro, just do you, do you, keep building that streak up and keep, bro, keep working on yourself. I applaud you. If you're on like a 30 day, two month, three month, if you're on a long streak, I applaud you. Keep going, bro. Keep going. I'm going to get up there. But, um, with all that being said, if y'all left this video motivated, if y'all left this video inspired, if y'all left this video a better person than I did my part, other than that, peace, love, positivity. Hope you have a good one.